We're looking at some of the fascinating things that can be done in a Revit project using the parameter linker tool. This tool allows you to synchronize data between various elements and even between linked models in ways not previously possible. You can do things like link space data and locations to rooms so changes in a linked model can affect your current model, link floor plan elements to diagram elements so changes are synchronized between the two, and have text in a family always stay upright on your plans. Ever since Revit came out, we've all been excited about how you can make a change anywhere in the model and see the effects of it everywhere. We have also long been frustrated that you can't synchronize data between linked models or do things like link data between diagrams and the floor plan elements they represent. The Parameter Linker by Rushforth Projects enables a new way to share, synchronize, and maintain data that you just couldn't do before. We'll show some quick samples, then walk through how to set up your own project. Let's look at making changes to a linked model and see how to review and accept the changes in our current model. In this example, we have a linked model that contains walls, rooms, and some piping that we will modify. We'll open the link in a separate session and move things around. Let's move the walls and rename a room. Let's swap a couple other rooms. And let's move this pipe. After saving the linked model, let's reload the link. We immediately notice that the pipe is not aligned and our conference space is no longer enclosed, but some of the other changes are less obvious. Let's open the parameter linker. Any monitored elements with discrepancies are highlighted red so you can easily review and synchronize the changes. In this case, we're linking the space locations and names to match the room locations and names. We can accept the individual links or all of them at the same time. We'll go ahead and accept all of them. After we synchronize the changes, we can see that our pipe has been aligned and all of the spaces have matched the linked rooms. Now let's look at a neat feature that allows you to enable auto synchronization. In the parameter linker, let's enable auto sync which will track your changes in your current session of Revit. Since in this example we linked our electrical equipment on the floor plan to the detail items in the drafting view, if I rename a piece of equipment on the floor plan, it will stay synchronized on the diagram. I can also change it on the diagram and have it update the floor plan. Since we also have access to information like space name and number, I can even move the equipment to another room and have it report that information automatically on the diagram. This means that I can link things like rotation on plan to, say, the tilt angle of a lighting fixture, or I can flip a switch on and off to turn on lights or to change the visibility of other objects. No, those are not accurate IES light source maps, just an extrusion created for show. So I had a user ask, can you link an element to itself? I was like, I don't follow. He said that since the tool has access to additional properties not available in the Revit interface, like locations, who created them, host, and such, that he could link those parameters to other parameters that could be scheduled and tagged. I was like, brilliant. I love learning new things about these tools. So while he was creating a site marker that could be tagged with its coordinates, so if you move it around, it keeps the coordinates accurate, I thought that it would be cool to have a family that always kept its text upright by linking its rotation to a text angle parameter. No matter where you move it on the plan, the text stays upright. The possible applications of this tool are endless. Now let's take a look at how you set this up in your project. The parameter linker works on two sets of data. First, a list of element pairs. This defines which elements are linked and share information. The second set of data are parameter sets. These are lists of parameter pairs that define which parameters in a source element will transfer data to which parameters in the destination element. You can create as many named sets of parameter pairs as you want. You create a complete link by assigning a parameter set to a pair of linked elements. Let's set one up together to see how this works. First, let's look at creating element pairs. If you're just selecting two elements, you can either select them before opening the tool, or you can specify them in the tool by element ID or choose to pick them in the interface. 
Alternatively, you can link large sets of elements at once by selecting a parameter that has a matching value. For example, we know that our name parameter in our electrical equipment has a matching name parameter in our diagram detail items. So we select the categories, families, or types that we want to match, and then we select the parameters that would contain matching values. Any elements having matching values are displayed and available for linking. When linked, they are linked by unique IDs and not the parameter value, so these parameter values can change and you can decide whether they are linked. We will accept the pairs, and in this case I will select my one lines parameter set that has the parameters that I want linked. If you are setting this up for the first time, you won't have presets, so let's show how to set these up. I will go ahead and delete all of my sets so we can start from scratch. In the Edit Parameter Sets tab, the parameters shown are pulled from the selected element links at the right in the links list and any elements that were shown on the previous element link tab. Simply select a source and a destination parameter and add them to your set. The parameter data types do not have to match and the values will be automatically converted if possible. If the edited parameter set is already in use by element links, you will be able to see your changes immediately affect all of the element links that reference that set. So if I add comments to the set, all element links that reference this set will see the new parameters. You can change set assignments and manage set changes when this tab is visible. You can also change how the links are sorted and displayed by changing the sorting parameter to something like panel name or another descriptive parameter. If you want to verify which elements have already been linked, you can have the tool highlight the selected links in the model. Other example uses of this tool could include linking material properties to wall parameters so that they can be included in wall tags and schedules, or linking mechanical equipment to electrical disconnects for enhanced coordination. It's a nice feeling to have users educate you on new ways to use your tools that you hadn't even thought of. What new use will you discover? Visit the website to find out how this and other tools can help you save time by automating your workflows. Because your time can be better spent on something else. <laughs>